AG Labs, my name is Ben. Good morning, hello, welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. On this beautiful Saturday, we have the 4th. Do we have the 4th of March? Let's see, yes, the 4th of March. And today in the morning, because a lot of people wrote me yesterday in the evening on Instagram, uh, caused by my post for an iPhone XA11 RAM replacement. Hey Ben, could you please show something like that on YouTube? And yes, I can do. Here we got an iPhone X board. I want to show to you that um, the board works. So I already have separated the board half. So top and it's another bottom layer. It's just a top layer. And um, the bottom layer is not related to that top layer because on that um, on that top, the bottom layer for the top layer board um, had uh, an error and I got it laying here for, for fix. So not a problem, but it's just um, for us internal. So it's no, no customer device. Okay, I just want to show you that this device works or this board works. And now we just have to take a look at the on-hands camera. Hey. And I want to show you that it w I don't connect the touch because I just want to show you that the device is booting up. So, okay, I'm back again. I just had to answer something. And now we just take this and we will have a look if that top layer board works. Oh. And the value is okay on power supply, so I think we should see an apple in a second. Yes, here. Okay. Okay, and here you can see I, I, do, I can't uh, use the touch now because I don't have connected the touch, but I just wanted to show you that this board is booting up, okay? So. So we take the board out. And I already prepared a RAM. I show that to you. So you see, I already prepared a RAM so I can use it for that phone. Okay, and now we just take the board. So, and now we just start by what? We start by cleaning the glue around the CPU.
just taking the clue slightly away. Slightly. Okay, done. Okay. Now we just control for the value on power supply, if all is okay. Still good. Here is the point where we go in. And now I just take the board to to my board holder. And we separate the RAM. Ah, yesterday I worked at the house next beside because I have to finish something there uh, and I cracked my, my hand a little bit <laughs> it's crazy okay I need my my tool here we are We need to come in here at the right point. Yeah, okay. So that is exactly what I wanted to do. And 
now we try to use the other two. Okay. So you see my board holder isn't fixed enough here. Okay, I know where the problem with my microscope was. Okay. So, and now again, now it's much easier for me. And you see, it's done. RAM is off, totally no problems, all looks fine. So we can do picture. And now we can just clean. And I have to use a new plate because this plate I already used for scraping free a RAM. really gently think on the board is really thin That's pretty okay.
is here, don't talk much if I do things like that, you know it from my other videos because I just have to concentrate okay now we take a brush and clean This should be okay. This here is only for the optic because it looks much nicer. It's really, really clean, like a mirror. done see that this looks like it should look and we can take the new rum for a little picture And again, I want to do a nice picture. And can I take another one by using some tweezers? I only want to do pictures, people. So I don't do any work at the moment, just just searching for a nice picture yeah like that okay and now we can just get get it down so we take the ball before we can take uh, we can check for the value of the board to see if it's fine but I don't see any problems here and that's pretty okay And let's get the new rum, the harvested rum, out of another board, down here. So, and what I do normally. Just to get down some flux here. Oh, my hand hurts.
it's really okay, just a little bit of flux and after that just getting that down to the CPU here, okay? So it should look like this and then we can just take the nozzle, the right airflow and the right temperature and getting that beautiful run down. And as soon as I see that the flux melts, I know that all is fine. Just wait a short time for cooling down. Take it out and have a look from the side. Do you see that? All the balls look well connected. Here too. Here too beautiful to see here okay just cooling down a little bit and we can control the value again and the value is about 70 milliamps between 60 and 70 is good And we can check if this board wants to boot up. So here you can see it's exactly, exactly that board. And we need this to get it down here. And the problem is that I can't test the touch because on my cable here it's broken. Sometimes it's, it works, so we can check, but I don't know if that test flex cable works for touch. Okay, getting it down. Take a test screen from my favorite screen supplier, Obseku. Get it connected, baby. I hate these. OK. 
Okay, one and two. And now we take this, connect it, do it in that way, hoping that all the cables are fine. And we try to boot. And boom! We are back to life again. I hope the cable holds like this. Now the battery came off. Okay, I need to see if these cables are still connected. Yes, they are. So, and we boot again. So as you can see, iPhone X RAM, I hope you like it because I really never saw this before on YouTube or on any other live stream or because what I want to do always is a video where you really see that I do these things and not faking and uh, doing things like that. Here you can see the touch doesn't work, but um, like I said, it's related to that weak cable here. Sometimes if you if you bend and press and push it works again but I told it to you in videos before so this can't work. Now I could just reboil the board and getting it back together but um, that doesn't make any sense. I want to have a look if I can connect it directly but I don't think that it works in in this and I only have this one cable and I can show it to you under the microscope so you can see I don't talk shit do you see that here some some lines are just broken here at this flex cable I want to try but I'm sure but I'm sure it won't work. No, now if I, no, it it, it can't work. So we tried. No. We <laughs> so I just can show you that the device is booting up like I already did. Because I don't know. I don't get this flex cable into the connector. No, it just doesn't work. But you see, change the RAM and after that the phone works anyway. Um, the RAM which I used, um, I harvested out of another CPU. I can show that to you in another video if you like that. But I need some comments and some thumbs up because I really do a lot of uh, videos here. And um, if you want to see more, you, you have to give me some, some thumbs up and some likes and some comments um, where you write yeah I want to see how to harvest and run out of an A11 or things like that I hope you like the video you see A11 RAM on an iPhone X separated by hand scale and hot air and um, replaced with a harvested one okay I hope you like it if you want to learn things like that you can do that at our one-on-one -on -one online trainings just contact me ben at apfeldoktor.eu and um, then you need to tell me what you already can do and what you want to learn and then I can do a quotation for you and then you can say yes or no so we can do that online it's not a problem if uh, you are working at a repair industry for smartphones and, tab and tablets it would be would be nice to see you at our Facebook group Smartphone Repair in Germany. I would be happy to see you there. But please answer the questions, otherwise we can't accept you. And um, yeah, by the way, um, buy the amazing ICC Pro on Monday. On Monday, yeah, on Monday. Thanks God, we get um, uh, about 1,000 pieces of the beautiful ICC Pro, and we are stocked up again, so we can sell a lot of them. So order it. I'm out. We we'll see us with the next video. Boom! Back to life again. Yes, Ben. Have a nice day, stay healthy.